Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Uh, Elijah Flores, Omar Rosario uh, on the MVP card in what promises to be a competitive fight. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow all, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, so you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money uh, consistently betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, before we get into today's show, please uh, follow me all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner, below, in that, in that little ticker below. Also, uh, carnivorebar.com. Get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Get the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a bar. On the go, on the travel, carnivorebar.com. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Elijah Flores, 20 years old. Mover, a little bit of a slickster. Stalks patiently. He's more of a guy that can't hit, but likes to come forward behind a jab. He's 8-0, three knockouts, 20 years old, originally from out of the Bronx, New York, now trains and fights in, in, in the Bay Area in California. I'm not saying he's not good. Uh, what I'm saying is I, I'm not impressed with him so far. I don't see a next world champion or anything like that. He's got you know, pretty good athleticism, pretty good reflexes, that good twitch. So you can see that he's got the athleticism to him. Good counter punch. He's got a snappy jab. He's not a high-volume guy. He's obviously not a hitter. He is an athlete, kind of slippery. He can be kind of hard to hit, but I really don't think so at a world-class level. Like, I don't see anything world-class about him. Yes, he's only 20, so he's got a long way to go. He's got a long, long way to go. Good speed. Good twitch. Come forward. He's... More come forward than you think. He uses his jab. He, he, he is slippery and hard to hit, but he's not a back foot guy. Not great at cutting off the ring. He, he, there's just not a lot to like about him other than his length and his athleticism. He's a welterweight, six foot tall, good range, right? So he's got a good body. He's got good athleticism. I just, there's no volume. There's not much to love about him. There's just there's not a whole lot to him right now at 20 years old. 8-0, three knockouts again. Not saying he's a terrible prospect. I'm just not seeing anything to fall in love with. This is going to – by he's got a win over Elijah Williams. A uh, very close and I would say somewhat controversial win over Elijah Williams. That was last year. Same thing, MVP card. He, he's got a win over Elijah Williams. I, I can't take that away from him. Elijah Williams is, is a decent prospect as well. We've seen him in the, in the Red Owl series uh, pick up another win. So he can't be all that bad. I, I'm just not super impressed with really any, any part of his of – his, he's, he's an athlete. He's an athlete who happens to box. And I, I've not seen much that sway me from saying that this guy is it, that he – there's not much to love about him. He, he doesn't have great volume. He doesn't have great fundamentals. He doesn't, he's not super elusive. He's not super slippery. He's not, he's just kind of good because he's a good athlete and tall and long. Omar Rosario, straight up and down. He's got that kind of typical, prototypical Puerto Rican stance, left hooker, uh, but doesn't have a ton of pop. His left hook is probably his best shot, leads with it, counters with it. It's good. Good body puncher. Good body puncher. He goes to the body well. He's an aggressive punt for a guy, and he's more entertaining to watch than Flores. But he's not a hitter, and he gets hit a lot, and his, his feet aren't great. Uh, he's got a little bit sloppy footwork. He can cut off the ring a little bit. Not a high-volume guy. He's pretty basic. He stalks pretty well. 
like I said, straight up, down, throws the left hook. Hang on. Like I said, he's not a big hitter. He's kind of slow. He needs to let his hands go a little bit more. He needs to be first. He mixes levels. Well, there's things like him. He knows how to fight a little bit. He's just there's – he doesn't let his hands go enough. He doesn't have great power for a front foot guy. He doesn't – he's pretty slow. He doesn't really sit down and really deliver his shots. He is defensively responsible. Nice straight right hand. He goes – there's things he does well. He can mix things up. He, he knows what punch to throw. He just doesn't deliver them. He doesn't sit on them. He doesn't let his hands go enough. He's probably the more skilled prospect, while Flores is the more naturally talented, which is why I, I think this is kind of a 50-50 fight. You know, my gut is that a close decision will go to Rosario, so that's kind of where I'm leaning on this. Oh, what happened? Hang on. Uh-oh, did they take it down? Did they take it down? Hang on. Uh oh. They took down all the bets. What 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 is going on here? This is a this is a glitch in the system. This is not good. Hang on. All right, I found the odds on bet us, bet us that, uh, bet us dot com. Uh, I found it here. This is about what they had yesterday on DraftKings minus two seventy. I think he was minus two sixty five or two sixty on DraftKings. It's about the same. Elijah Flores. I don't love it. It's not a bet I would make. I would say away from this fight, but I do think Flores wins. I don't like minus 270. Hunter Albet's only going to make you 3704. Hunter Albet's going to make you $37.04. If I calculate those odds correctly, it's not. I'd say away from this fight. Unless you can get to go the distance, I'd love to go this. If you can get props on this to go the distance, take that. It absolutely goes the distance. Other than that, I would stay away from this fight for sure. It's a 50 50 fight. The odds aren't good enough. Like I said, it's got to be plus 300 for me to bet on the underdog in a 50-50 fight. He's not close to that. A plus 215, a plus 210, whatever the book's, plus 215. He's not close enough to do that to make that bet worthwhile. My best advice to you is stay away from this fight. My second best advice to you is take Flores on the money line. So, or actually, my second best advice is take the over, take the fight, they go the distance. If you can get props on it, I can't find anything like that. That would be my second favorite bet. My third favorite bet would be to uh, bet Flores on the money line at minus 270. All right, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Guys, remember, Carnivore Bar, carnivorebar.com. Uh, link is in the description. Use promo code 10%. To get, uh, use, I'm sorry, use promo code boxing to get 10% off at checkout. That's carnivorebar.com. Carnivorebar.com. All right, guys, it is October 10th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. I know that was, that was a, that was a rough show today. Uh, I don't know what's up with Giraffe Kids, but hopefully that's up and running soon. All right, y'all. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.